Hello and welcome back to the channel for the second part of my preview of Chapter 4 of Doctor Who Flux, Village of the Angels. In my previous video I took a deep dive into the episode's synopsis and in this one I'm going to be taking a closer look at the episode's cast list and basically just giving a rundown of all the actors and all the characters that we know to be in this episode. So starting off, as per usual, we have Jodie Whittaker playing the Doctor, we have Mandip Gill playing Yasmin Khan, we have John Bishop playing Dan Lewis, and we have Jacob Anderson playing Vinder. For some reason he's not listed on the official website cast list, but he is listed elsewhere in the TV listings, magazines for instance, and there is also a promo pic of Jacob Anderson as Vinder to confirm that he's definitely in this episode. Then we've got a few recurring characters, characters that have been introduced earlier in the season. So we have Thaddea Graham back as Belle, who was introduced last week, obviously. And I think it would make sense to assume that we're going to see more of her quest to find Vinder and vice versa, given where we left those characters at the end of Once Upon Time. We've got Rashanda Sandal as Azure. And interestingly, Swarm isn't listed on the cast list, either on the website or anywhere else in the TV listings, magazines. So not quite sure what's going on there, really. Is he in the episode? I mean, previously we've always seen Swarm and Azure as a pair. I guess it's possible that in this episode we could just focus on Azure. Or they could be trying to hide Swarm's involvement in the episode. But I don't quite get why they'd be doing that, because, you know, we've seen him in every episode of Flux so far, so it's not exactly going to be a surprise if he crops up again. Perhaps like last week, we're going to be seeing some more flashback scenes, which would make sense because Azure would be in those scenes, obviously, and Rashanda Sandal would be in those scenes as Azure, but Swarm would be played by Matthew Needham, who plays the older version of Swarm. So perhaps Sam Spruill isn't in the episode this time round, the guy that normally plays Swarm, but perhaps Matthew Needham is, and perhaps that's what's going on here. I don't know, it's difficult to get a grasp of it really, but that would be my best guess, that we're not going to be seeing Azure in the present, we're going to be seeing the younger version of her that was first glimpsed last week, and that's why Sam Sproul isn't alongside her in the cast list. We also have Johnny Mathers back as passenger, which I think would lend some credence to that theory that I've just suggested really. And finally, for recurring characters, we have Annabelle Scully back as Claire Brown, who was introduced in the Halloween Apocalypse very fleetingly, with no context as to who that character was or where they'd come from. And clearly that was sort of seeding and setting up her appearance in this episode. This does look to be her main episode, though it's not clear if she's going to be in episodes 5 and 6. I can't quite remember off the top of my head if that's been confirmed or not. But this would certainly seem to be her sort of main episode, at least so far, and where we're going to get some of the answers about, you know, what she was doing in the Halloween Apocalypse, what her connection to the Doctor and Yaz is, and just generally what's going on with this character. We've seen in the synopsis that there's a Professor character who's conducting psychic experiments on someone, and obviously from the trailer we know that that is Claire by the looks of things, so perhaps she's got some sort of psychic abilities, perhaps she's got premonitions about what's going to happen in the village, Perhaps, as I suggested in that video, she's out of time, she's not from the 1960s, that's not her era, and maybe she's ended up there either by being sent back by an angel, or perhaps she's a time traveller. Because I think we are broadly assuming that the Halloween Apocalypse scene featuring Claire was set after this episode because of the way things were and because she knew the Doctor and Yaz already. But equally, I guess it could have been set before and what we're seeing in this episode is the aftermath of Claire being sent back in time by an angel in that story. Maybe she gets sent back in time to 1960s Devon. The Professor in question is Professor Jericho, or rather Professor Eustatius Jericho, according to the synopsis, who is played by Kevin McNally, a very famous British actor. I know him from Unforgotten Series 3, which he guest starred in a few years ago, and he's also very well known for the Pirates of the Caribbean film series as well. And he's also actually been in Doctor Who before, back in the 80s, in 1984 to be precise, in The Twin Dilemma, that acclaimed Doctor Who story, the sixth Doctor's first story, in which he played the character Hugo Lang, who sort of acts as a sort of temporary companion to the sixth Doctor in that story. And also, fun fact, he's married to Phyllis Logan, another actor who played Andinio in the Battle of Ranscor Ab Colos. So there we go, Professor Jericho is officially married to one of the Ucks. So I can't wait to see him again in the show. I think he's a really great actor and he's going to bring a lot of experience and gravitas to the role, more so than he did in The Twin Dilemma, I think it's safe to say. 
Then alongside him, we've got a whole host of other characters who would appear to also be residents of this fictional village, Medicine, in which the episode is set. And it sort of ends up looking like a bit of an Agatha Christie whodunit, really, because we've got a Reverend in the mix, Reverend Shaw, played by Alex Frost, who's best known for us to Davis's shows Cucumber and Banana from 2015. We have Penelope Ann McGee as Mrs. Hayward, and I believe that actually leaked on her CV many months ago. A similar story to Mary Seacole from Royal Santarans, really, where we've known this character's name and we've known she's going to be in it for a very long time. And she's best known for a part in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. We have Gemma Churchill playing Jean. Uh, she's best known for Upstairs, Downstairs and Waterloo Road. And she appeared as herself in the Five-ish Doctors reboot, the sort of spoof from 2013 for the fifth anniversary. And has also voiced multiple characters for Big Finish. And then we have Vincent Brimble playing Gerald, who would appear to be Jean's husband based on various promo pics in the trailer footage. And just like Kevin McNally, he also appeared in the 1984 Doctor Who adventure. Specifically, Warriors of the Deep, in which he played Tarpok, one of the Silurians. And finally, we have the child actor Poppy Polivnik playing a character called Peggy. Obviously, the episode synopsis mentions a girl who's gone missing, and I think it'd be safe to assume that this is her, that it's Peggy. So who knows what's going on with that lovely lot? I do wonder myself whether that sort of Agatha Christie setup is intentional, whether it's going to play into the episode and we're going to get a sort of whodunit sort of storyline where one of these characters, or at least one of them, is in league with the Weeping Angels and the Doctor and the viewer have to work out which one it is. And if that is the case, then I'm going to straight away point the finger at Reverend Shaw for no particular reason. I mean, we barely know anything about his character. But yeah, it just always seems to be the vicar in these sorts of stories and these sorts of scenarios. So yeah, straight away, I don't quite trust him. I guess in the back of my mind, I'm also thinking back to the Unicorn and the Wasp, where the vicar character ended up being the Vesper form in disguise. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I think definitely at least one of these characters is going to have some sort of secret up their sleeve. It's going to be a bit shady. It is going to be someone we can't quite trust. Whether that's made clear straight away or whether it's something that's held back for some sort of dramatic reveal is yet to be seen. Then rounding off the cast list, we have Blake Harrison, or indeed Neil from The Inbetweeners, playing a character called Namaka, or Namaka, don't know quite how you pronounce that. But he looks to be some sort of alien of some description or some member of an alien tribe or something. And by the looks of things, from trailer footage and promo pics, he's going to have some sort of confrontation with Belle, presumably in her mission to find Vinda. I mean, it's not clear whether this character is trustworthy or not, Perhaps he's a bad guy and he's captured Vinda and he's keeping him prisoner somewhere. Whatever the case, clearly Belle wants him or she wants something from him and that thing is presumably something to do with her quest to find Vinda. And last but not least, we have three Weeping Angel actors listed. So first of all, we have Barbara Fadden, who is a seasoned Doctor Who monster performer. She's played multiple characters over the years, from Handbots to Silurians, and has most recently played the Thajarian Almark in Demons of the Punjab. And joining her, we have two brand new Weeping Angel actors, Isla Moody and Larry Brown. And that's it for the Village of the Angels cast list and my thoughts on it. But what do you think of these characters and of these actors? Which character or actor are you most looking forward to seeing in the episode? And do you have any theories about any of them? Do you agree with my theory that perhaps at least one of them is up to no good? Whatever the case, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Please do also like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Doctor Who Flux related content. And I'll see you again soon for the final part of my preview for this episode. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Remember not to blink and goodbye for now.